Grant McNair with Family Food Lifestyle. Today we're going to go ahead and show you how to make a comfort food turkey pot pie. The ingredients you're going to need are two cups of turkey, three cups of frozen peas, carrots, I'm going to use ready mix pie crust, I've got a half teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of thyme, and that's dried thyme. A can of cream of chicken soup. One egg. And we're going to go ahead and put them in these two cup ramekins. Now if you want, you can use a one cup ramekin, and you can make four of these. But we're going to make it actually a meal for us. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. I've had these uh, pie crust out for 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and unroll them. The things that I did, as you can see right here, I broke the crust, but I just went ahead and patched it. So I'm going to go and show you how I did it with this uh, pie dough. So all I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Again, don't worry if you rip it. You can always uh, uh, go ahead and uh, patch it up. So I'm just going to slowly start working the dough in. Just be a little patient. And we're almost to the bottom there. Now you can always do this without the crust inside if that's what you would like. I prefer to have the crust in. And this has come along pretty good. Now you can see I've got a little bit of extra crust on the inside here so all I'm going to do is just press down kind of flatten it out squeeze it toward the top and you can see I have a part here that's already cracked so let me go ahead and I'm just going to trim the excess off the side and then I'm going to use the rest of this to help patch it up As you can see, it's pretty simple to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this crust right in here. Work it in. Both of our ramekins are done. You can see everything in it. It's just nice and perfect. And each one of these pie crusts, we had extra dough. And this extra dough, we're just going to go ahead and flatten it out, and we're going to put it on the top once we make the ingredients. So here's a bowl right here. We're going to go ahead and put the two cups of turkey in there. We're going to put the peas and the carrots in there. Okay, we're going to put the thyme and the pepper in. Last ingredients is the cream of chicken soup. I'm just going to go ahead and put all this in here. Get a spoon. Now, all we're going to do is just mix this in really good. Okay, pie fillings come along really good. just want to get this incorporated to where most of it's mixed up pretty good just like it is now now if we just leave that like this it'll be just fine if you want you can go ahead and put additional water in here I'm gonna go ahead and put another half a cup of water in okay here goes a half a cup of water you can see it makes it a little more juicy Okay, as you can see, the ramekins are full. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this sheet. That's what I'm going to cook it on. But now that I've got this extra dough from each one of the pie crusts, it's trying to go ahead and roll it out to about an uh, eighth of an inch thick. And we're just going to put that right on top of it. Okay, 
that's just about right. Let me grab one of these. And all you have to do is pick it up, place it over the top, make sure everything's okay, it's centered. I'm going to go ahead and just go around the edges and gently kind of push on the crust, making sure that we have a seal here. And when we're done, we'll go ahead and use a uh, fork to finish it off. So now that I have that, I'm just going to go around the edges, finish up the dough. And that one's almost done. Okay. Then I'm just going to take the fork and just push down on the edges. This will help seal the pot pie. Go all the way around it. really simple technique. Okay, then I just need to go around and trim it up one more time since I pushed the dough off to the side. Okay, now all the pot pie is made. Fillings on the inside, and we've got the lids on top of them. So now I'm going to do is just crack an egg here, and I'm going to wash the top of them with an egg wash. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and put just a little bit of water in this, but I'm just going to do without. I don't mind doing that. Now you can also, if you want, use the egg wash inside the pot pie before you put the filling in. I didn't do it this time. I'm just going to take this egg wash. And it helps seal it in and it also stops it from burning. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, now that I've got almost the wash all the way around, that should be good enough. And the last step here before we put it in the oven is we want some vent holes. You can take a knife and you can just cut a couple of them in there. I just like to take a fork, just put it in there. It seems to work just fine for me. And once this is done, it'll be a really nice golden brown. We're going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 425 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. The oven's been preheated, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on these trays. Go ahead and put it in the oven. I always put it on the top rack, try to keep it away from the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead to set the timer for 45 minutes. We took the turkey pot pies out. They were cooking for 40 minutes. You can see they're nice golden brown. And uh, try this recipe out. I know you'll enjoy it. My name is Grant McNary. I'm with FamilyFoodLifestyle.com.